In this video, I'm gonna show you what happens when you starve yourself, why when you crash diet, you tend to end up even fatter, and what you need to do to fix your metabolism if you've been making this mistake. Okay, I wanna make one thing very clear because I can already see the comments coming from people who just read the title and didn't even watch the video. Starvation mode, as in you starve yourself, your body just then takes whatever you eat and stores it as body fat, does not exist. However, your body does slow down its metabolism from this and it's why it makes it so much harder to lose and so much easier to gain. And if you really think about this, it makes perfect sense. Say for instance, you go on super low calories. First, you lose weight pretty quickly, but eventually your body starts freaking out and going, why are we on such low calories? Are we gonna be in a period of time where there's gonna be no food around. I better slow our metabolism down so what little food we do get, we can hang on to as good as possible so we don't starve to death. And honestly, these slowdowns in metabolism are probably greater than you think. For instance, this study showed in just three weeks of a 50% calorie restriction, total energy expenditure was dropped by 42%, resting metabolic rate was dropped by 40%, and non-resting metabolic rate, so like when you're moving around and possibly doing exercise, dropped by 48%. Now that was in rats, so that's not necessarily the same thing as humans, and probably because we can't really do the these extreme methods with humans, which if you think about that, if you can't do it in science, you probably shouldn't be doing it to yourself either. But hey, that doesn't mean there aren't things in humans we can look at that show similar things. For instance, there was a study that looked at a follow-up on Biggest Loser contestants after six years, and I'm sure you've seen the extreme methods they take on that show, and it showed their resting metabolic rate on average was about 500 calories less than it should be, not to mention most of them had gained most of the weight back too. Another study that looked at resting metabolic rate, they took people who were either on Biggest Loser or did gastric bypass and the results consistently showed resting metabolic rate was lower than would be predicted just through weight loss alone and quite frankly the news doesn't get a whole lot better for people who use extreme methods there's also more research that's pretty much consistently shown the more times you've dieted in your life the more difficult it gets to lose weight and i'm sure you've seen this and a lot of this has to do with the metabolic response that comes from dieting so with all that it becomes pretty clear why people who tend to starve themselves also tend to get fatter in the long run not because you gain weight while you're starving yourself, it's because you starve yourself, your metabolism slows down, you eventually get to the point where you say it's too hard, I'm not losing weight anymore, your hunger hormones are all out of whack, you're super hungry, you're highly agitated, you just feel exhausted, you can't take it anymore, you say screw it, you binge endlessly, you do so with a slow metabolism, gain weight rapidly, probably eventually panic and say uh oh, I've undone all my progress, try it again, body doesn't really respond though because it hasn't had enough time to recover and you repeat this cycle and it just gets worse and worse. Not only that, Research has shown, at least in rats, if you rapidly gain weight, you can even create new fat cells, and that's the last thing you would want, because while you gain and lose fat, you typically have more or less fat in your fat cells, but if you add new fat cells, they're gonna be there for good, which makes all the more sense why it gets that much harder to lose weight in the long run. So the obvious answer here is to get away from the crash dieting and the extreme methods and make a lifestyle out of this. But what if you've already been doing this? What if you've been crash dieting, yo-yo dieting your whole life? Does that mean you were just screwed for life? No, it doesn't. There is a way out of this. You can fix your metabolism. And how do you do this? Well, remember, if you lower your calories, your metabolism slows down. If you increase your calories, your metabolism speeds up. However, you can't just eat whatever quantities you want because your metabolism is suppressed and your maintenance calories are low. So if you go crazy with things, you're gonna gain weight rapidly. What you wanna do instead is do a process called reverse dieting where you gradually increase your calories to get your calories back up. This helps your metabolism speed back up, but because you're taking your time bringing them up, your body can keep up with this better and help minimize the extra fat gain during this process. However, a lot of people who do this go about things the wrong way. So I wanna make sure you know how to do this. So to find out how fast you should increase, how long you should reverse diet, everything you need to know about reverse dieting, then start with this video up here and it'll explain this. And if you follow that playlist through, it's gonna tell you everything you need to know about reverse dieting and finally getting where you wanna be. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.